Here's an illustration of my wood stove with the current layout. I have a baffle in the back. I have fire brick along the back of the stove and along the bottom only. These, these are the coals and the wood. This is the cross section of the door. The bimetal thermostat. The secondary burn air intake which goes through here. And this used to be a spin draft stove where you just turn the knob and the air intake was set statically and it wouldn't adjust according to stove temperature. Let's take a look where the air comes in. This is the fresh air flow in. Down here the secondary burn air intake which I can adjust by turning this knob. So I basically have three places where fresh air comes in. The secondary burn air comes in at the top. It basically comes in here, it splits, it goes around the outside of the stove. Now these are made out of copper, so the radiant heat from the stove heats the air. And then there's nozzles on the inside. And basically they come around both sides and the air runs into each other to increase the pressure. Because that's where I want the burn to happen. I also have air coming in through these holes here. As you can see on the side view and that basically controls the temperature of the stove sometimes this thing shuts totally down and the only air going in is coming into the secondary burn and that makes this thing real efficient then let's talk about the gases from the wood because that's what we're really burning the blue represents unburnt gases that come off the wood now what happens is the coals heat the wood and the gases raise up from the wood and as the fresh air enters that's where it ignites and that's in the negative pressure area here okay so and that keeps going around and around and around and that's the flow inside the stove when when it's burning let's take a look at the exhaust gases which are indicated in the red now the burnt gases which are hotter, they have a tendency to rise to the top. And that's where the baffle of the stove comes in. Hotter gases are at the top, and, they, and those are the ones I want to escape. And the unburnt gases, I want to go back around, reheat them, pass them through the wood and get more gases until they ignite. When the, the wood gases from the wood come up and mix with the air, some of them burn, which makes them really hot, which forces them to the top of the stove. The baffle keeps, them, keeps the unburnt gases from going up the pipe, so they go back around. The burnt gases hang up at the top, and they, are for, and they have a lot of heat in them, and I force them around the back side of the stove, and then up out of the pipe come down around and up and out. This seems to be a very effective way to get all the heat out of the hot gas and into the steel of the stove. 